guys, today I'm going to be making some yummy horse treats as it is Bentley's birthday next week and I thought I'd give him something a little bit different to mix things up. Just as a disclaimer, these treats are very sugary and should only be given occasionally as something special and they should not be a regular thing. For this recipe, you are going to need some sugar, some salt, an apple, some flour, some water, some honey syrup or molasses and some oats. Before we get started we are going to turn on our oven and preheat it to 170 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit. Your first step is going to be getting a grater and your apple and just grating it up. Once you have done that, you can just put them into your bowl that you're going to be using. Next, you are going to need 136 grams of flour, which is one cup. Once you have done that, you are just going to place it into your bowl of apple. Next, you are going to take one tablespoon of sugar, which is two of these, as I only have the half tablespoon measurement. Next you are just going to add in a little pinch of salt. Now we are just going to mix all of this together. Next you're going to need a cup of your oats which is 85 grams and I'm using these small little bags which is 27 grams so I'm going to need three of these. Next you're going to add a quarter cup of water and then you're going to need a quarter cup of the syrup or honey you are using. Now you're going to start mixing all of this together. When it is all coming together, it should form a doughy paste type ball thing and that's when you know it is ready. Next you are going to line your tray with some cooking spray. I'm also going to put some baking paper on the top of the tray. start scooping your treats and putting them into a ball onto the paper. I had some mixture left over so I just topped up some of the other treats. This is what mine look like when they are done and now they are ready to go in the oven. When you're using an oven, make sure that you use baking gloves at all times so you don't burn yourself and if you are under the age of 10 or 11, then get a parent or garden, guardian to do this bit for you. Once they're in and cooking, you leave them in there for 15 minutes and then whilst they're cooking, you can do your washing up as you will have made a mess. This next part is completely optional, but I've got a jar here, which I'm gonna put the treats in. And I've also got some string, some paper and some pens, which I'm just gonna write on. I've just written Bentley's treats on this in blue and red because those are our colours but you can do any colours that you want. I'm just going to cut this out. If you need assistance please ask a parent or guardian. 
Once the 15 minutes is up, take them out of the oven and let them cool for at least 10 minutes. Make sure to remember to turn your oven off. This is what they should look like when they are finished. Once they have cooled down, I'm going to transfer them to the jar. 